Hi everybody, this is Dale and Flo. Welcome to my channel, Not Too Shabby Chic. This is hashtag Friendship Friday. And today I have a special friend that I want to feature. And I will be sending her a box of goodies. And I will show you some of them. I don't want to show everything so that she will be surprised. But this person is sort of a new friend for me. I just uh, discovered her channel a few months ago. And she is one of the sweetest people that I've met. And she always watches my videos and comments. She gives <clears throat> lots of people um, kind comments. She's a supporter of all that is good and kind. And she's just a sweetheart. So, let me introduce you to Craft or Crafts and Tea with Janet Kay. She does Twinchy Thursday. Um, I think that's what it's called. And I've not joined in any challenges with anyone only because I've got to get my craft room organized. Um, and I'm about two weeks away from being done. And then I can start joining in some challenges. So it's not because. Janet K that I don't want to be in your challenges or Billy or uh, Jovi all the other wonderful people doing challenges so please don't think that I just can't until I get my room done Flo's watching me and she's holding me accountable so um, anyway I want to show you some things that I've selected especially for Miss Janet K and I'll start with this pile right here this is just a little piece of soft tulle. And then I saw on her profile that she, because I don't know her really well, that she loves lace, vintage, and shabby chic. Her favorite color is pink, so I gave her blue lace. Doesn't that make sense to you? Makes perfect sense to me. Um, <laughs> just because she likes pink doesn't mean she wouldn't like other colors, but this is so pretty, and I got this wrapped around something, I, a journal that I bought, I think, recently, that shows you how my memory's slipping, because I don't remember. But anyway, that's a beautiful piece of lace. This pretty crochet lace. Excuse the shadows. I've been trying to adjust lighting and it's just a challenge. Um, this little piece of um, like eyelet sort of stuff. I don't know what you call that, but I think it's pretty. So I tried to give her an assortment of laces. This is really pretty. Looks shabby chicish. This is a type of eyelet. And she could dye these pink if she wants them pink or coffee. The white ones, you know, you can coffee dye. Well, actually, you can coffee dye any of them. But um, I thought these colors, this cream color is really pretty. And that she could dye them if she likes. Because I don't have a lot of colored stuff. Isn't this really pretty? And this is kind of like Quaker lace, I think. So those are a few pieces, and then I've got a good size piece of this, and that reminds you to me of a three-leaf clover. So I guess that's a shamrock, or that's what it's supposed to be. I didn't notice that until today, uh, when, or last night when I was picking out some special things, but it's still pretty. Then I have some different laces hold on just a moment sorry my husband when I told him I was doing a video starts playing really loud stuff and um, he's known for that so anyway I had a or purchased from Goodwill a really cute little spaghetti strap top that had this lace trim and that's the only reason I bought it and I just love it and I just took it off of the top that it was on a couple days ago and I was going to use it because I just think it's decadent I just think it's gorgeous but something told me I needed to give this to Janet Kay 
first of all, it's like a fuchsia pink, sort of. And her favorite colors are any shade of pink. And I hope she likes black, too. This, to me, looks very vintage-y, uh, even though it's not. So, Janet Kay, I am sacrificing this one for you. Because <laughs> I really, really like it. I just think it's so pretty. But I felt led that you should have it. Now, I will tell you, I got tired of... Um, taking stuff off so this will come off you just need to get you a little seam ripper and just start pulling it loose right there and it'll it'll come loose this cording that was left on there will come off or you could leave it for extra um, support when you use it I don't know it's up to you but isn't that gorgeous I know I can't take this long and everything because it'll take forever but anyway that's beautiful this is a beautiful piece of lace. So some of these are scrap pieces, but I like scraps. Um, and other people, I know MJ liked it when I sent her stuff already cut up because she has a hard time cutting things up. I, on the other hand, have no issue at all. I'll just whack that stuff right in two, rip it up because life's growing short. I'm getting old and there is no way I can ever use all this stuff. So I'm tearing it up. So there. So if you have things that you wish you could cut up and tear up, but you just can't, just send it to me. I'll tear it up for you and send it back to you because it doesn't bother me. But anyway, this came off of a um, either a blouse or a dress. So I will tell you that when you're looking at Goodwill and thrift stores, be sure to check for dresses, skirts, and tops because I find some of my prettiest laces and things there. This is a piece of sparkle tulle and it's scalloped on both sides so it's just absolutely beautiful I think. And I thought you can cut it in half, you can leave it wide and cover a book with something showing through under it. There's there's a million and one things you can do with that. Um, this is some lace that I bought from Amor Fabrique, Selena, who, by the way, is also a wonderful uh, resource for vintage things, uh, laces, doilies, books. She's got a little bit of everything under the sun, and I buy things from her. So, Amor Fabrique's Selena. She's got a YouTube channel, an Etsy store, uh, Amor Fabrique's. But anyway, she dyed these herself, and I thought this was a pinkish blush color that I would send to Janet Kay. This is a piece, I'm going to speed up, that came off of a dress. Very pretty. You can see the design in it when I lay it flat. Soft, like a crochet feel. This was a dress. This was like a party dress, like Christmas dress. Um... The flowers kind of look like daisies to me, but it's got a few sequins sewn into it, so I just think that it's really pretty. Got some white lace from Selena. Well, actually, it's super pale pink. It's really not white. I've got this coffee dyed piece I got from Donna Little. Donna Little is my source for all um, my doilies for the most part and for this type of lace and she grungied this up she's just starting to do that a little but i think i buy it all up and nobody else can have it this is i believe quaker lace and this will be beautiful for vintage this came off of a piece of clothing it was at the bottom of a pair of pants isn't that pretty and this is fillet lace i get from donna little it's hard for me to part with because it's one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. Isn't that gorgeous? So you can, you know, cut this up and or you cut these out individually, cut a strip, half, how, whatever you want to do. There's lots of things you can do with this versus just hoarding it like I tend to do. This is Quaker Lace. This is kind of stiff. Most of it's soft. This must have a little sizing or something in it, but it is Quaker Lace. Is that not scrumptious? It's scalloped on this end. 
and not on this. This is from Donna Little and probably was part of a tablecloth. But I just think it's gorgeous. This came off of a top. Um, you can see that. See there? It was a tank top. But sometimes we need little pieces and big pieces. And this is definitely pink. See the flower? She could cut out a flower. This flower with the little, um, pay, um, whatever you call it, um, or a section, there's lots to be done with that. So I thought I will let her cut it up because she might not would cut it the way I do. And I wanted her to have the freedom to make it like she wants it. Here is another piece of Quaker lace. This one's real soft. Very, very pretty. It's got a little place there. All these um, pieces from Selena or from uh, Donna Little are all vintage, very vintage. This is gorgeous. Here's another piece um, of Quaker that I got from Selena. I, I didn't r really want to give this up. This is so yummy. She coffee dyed this and mixed it coffee with some food coloring maybe, but she came with this sherbety, coffee-ish, peach-ish color. Super soft lace. I love this. And um, you remember um, the, the movie Frozen? And what was her name? Elsa? Let it go, let it go. And that's all I know of that song. So there's your song for today. I cut up a wedding dress and the my th one I posted about that was $3 had tons of this lace on it. And it's really pretty. And I got a lot of it. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to share. So Janet K, this was from a wedding dress. It's pretty tiny scallops on this side. And then the bigger scallops on this end. Super pretty. Looks much better like this than it did on that dress. I'm just saying. Whoever wore that wedding dress. I, I, all I'm going to say is bless their heart. Bless their little heart. This was um, a dress. This was the bodice of the dress, I think. It reminds me of spider webs. I don't know why. Maybe because of this. So I feel like I should put a spider there. I don't like spiders. I don't like spider webs. But this part doesn't look like a spider web. So she can cut that out. Or I think it would be really cool to make a Halloween journal and use this for spider webs. Wouldn't you think that? But I don't do Halloween journals. So there. These, this would be cute trim, so she can, again, cut this up however she wants. This I've got uh, quite a bit of, and I absolutely love this. It's a blush pink. I don't know what it was um, and where I got it and why I've got it. I'm sure I picked it up at a thrift store, um, but it's I just love it. I love the color, and it's a close weave with the lace um, it's kind of right this must be the right side it's raised sometimes I like the wrong side but I gave her I tried tearing it it didn't like it so um, I stopped that <laughs> so there's that and a smaller piece this pretty pink is from Selena I'm not going to open them all another pink from Selena Another pink from Selena, more fabrics. Here's a darker pink, like a rose color, and this lace is a little different. Isn't that pretty. But hopefully she's got some lace now to keep her for a while. This is another piece of my favorite Quaker lace. I just, just love it. Beautiful. This will go vintage, shabby, whatever. This is some trim from Donna Little. Isn't that pretty this can be pressed now Janet K what I do is I have a flat iron by my desk and when I iron I flat iron it it's quick hold it on there and it works just as good as an iron and I don't have to get a bunch of stuff out so anyway that's some trim that's really pretty here's some more trim from Donna this is like an off 
I guess it's an off-white or it's a, it's not ecru, it's off-white. This one's wider, very pretty. And here's an ecru, like a, be a light beige. And this is pretty and I'm just giving it, Janet, instead of cutting it up, I'm just going to give it all to Janet Kay. Isn't that gorgeous? And then you've got the ruffle that you can um, separate with the seam ripper. And I think this, yeah, this was a, is a tablecloth. Or maybe Janet Kay needs a pretty tablecloth. And she can use this. I don't even know. I'm out of camera right now because I think it's long rectangle shape um, is what this is it's not square so yeah it's a it's a rectangle and this will keep her busy for a while as well then I've got this green this is white and green pretty then a little piece of thin green and another solid green there and I have this whole thing of trim that I had ordered I've got um it's wrapped with jute so Janet K what you can do I'm not going to open it this um, silver leaf vine is wrapped in between the jute and I think it's cute like that. But if you wanted to separate it, all you got to do is unwind it. And you'll see how you can do that. Then you'll have more jute and your rope, your rope vine, but it's a real pretty light silver. This is very vintage and I coffee dyed it, this trim. Isn't that pretty? Crochet trim. And then, oh, I got my nails cut, and they're so stinking short and fat. It's like, I don't like them thick, and the person I got to do them, I said, don't make them thick. And what'd they do? They made them thick. And then this uh, ribbon trim, I get that at Hobby Lobby, I think. Now, this I didn't want to part with either, but... I felt like I was supposed to. I got this from Donna Little also. Is this not one of the most gorgeous works of art you've ever seen? Isn't this beautiful? She may not want to cut this up, but I just love it. Um, it's vintage. Um, you could use it for a journal cover so you don't cut it up. You know, spine here and have it come across the front. That would be gorgeous, or if it's a big one, you could do it you know, down the spine, but I just thought this way, so that you don't even have to cut it. You cover the front and some of the back. Of course, you want it your spine, so you may not come over much. But isn't it beautiful? See, look at the flowers, the little rosettes, and they go all the way around, and the fringe. Love it. So bye bye. Um, then I have just some bits and pieces of some doilies that have been cut. This is shaped like a flower. You could put it on a journal thing and flap this down and make it a pocket. Pretty banner piece of lace. Here's some of that trim like I showed you in the white and ecru but this is pink this is a beautiful piece of mint green very pretty um, just some more trim this came off of a curtain just this piece and I've used been using this so I'm giving her a piece of that it's absolutely gorgeous this was off of um, um, some linen it's very old and it's a uh, Easter basket looking, a flower basket. It's been sewn on and looks like by hand. Slow stitch, that's what they did. This is a piece of a linen for a corner. 
This applique is beautiful. The gold sparkle. This is a vintage hanky that I'm sharing. And I saw someone, I don't remember who it was, might have been Pam Van E. But I can't remember. They used the, the hanky as a page. So like in the journal, you can leave it folded like that and this have a double page or they had it uh, or it might have been bloom stitch rita i can't remember i think she had it like this so it hung out the bottom of the top page or you can make it a square and fold it so you know or you can just use it as a hanky whatever you want to do this is a piece i had cut out of a linen you can do whatever you want with that. This was a plastic tablecloth that I cut up because I love these squares. And they look cute as pockets in a journal. So, and you could even put cloth lace over the top um, so that you could still see that. This came off of a blouse. Pretty. Uh, Battenberg, I cut up. It was a um, placemat pink piece of vintage something that was cut up on a little and this came off of something and I don't remember isn't it cute though isn't it pretty this is just a round piece um, I used to make flowers some but see the sequins on it gorgeous then um, we have this lace I gave her the whole spool of it because I have a lot and I have more similar to this and I was going to keep some and I went no 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 uh, Battenberg little doily that I have pressed and that gorgeous and these itty bitty pieces that are so cute there's some more here and then these I got all these from Donna Little these look like crosses to me love 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 them all so there's her some mini doilies and then I have this large peach doily someone gave me it looks like they just made their own doily still would be cute on a journal cover or as a page in a journal blue and white vintage doilies some a pink one and then just some white. Here's a Battenberg again. See those? Aren't they cute? And just um, various ones there. And, you know, all these different colors. And this. And I love this. This is another one. It's like God kept telling me to give her stuff that I didn't want to give away. So, he does that, and I don't always tell y'all about it, but for some reason, this time, I felt like I'm supposed to tell you. So, anyway, isn't that gorgeous? I, I love this, but it's got to go to Janet Kay. It's pink. She loves pink, and this is absolutely gorgeous, vintage piece. Then I've got lots of little snippet bits and pieces for her that, you know, from my scrap bins and then I have this lace that is gorgeous I gave her quite a bit of that and we have jewelry I'm not showing you all of it but lots of charms crosses and let's see if this um, stuff like that this will be pretty pink as a tap part of a tassel to dangle in that cute I don't know why but I thought she would like that this was my mother's Janet Kay was one of her little refrigerator magnets I took the magnet off and I just thought I was supposed to share her with you and my mom is in heaven um, this is beautiful faith girl and I think Janet Kay is a faith girl so this little purse is absolutely adorable. I've hoarded them. I've got three or four, and it actually opens. It really does open. 
Oh, <laughs> it just fools you. So you could put a little note or a little something in here. It's magnetized. You could put a chain here, a ribbon, to hang it from your journal. Um, this beautiful vintage brooch. Ow! Just poked myself. And she loves pearls. So these are different strands of pearls. I think this one is vintage, maybe. Some of them I don't remember. This one is vintage. It came off of an old necklace, and it's a pretty size. But she can drape them, hang them. This was off of a vintage necklace. It's knotted in between each bead. And this um, is knotted between each bead. But I don't know if that one's vintage. There's another. This was vintage. Lightweight, though. This I got at Michael's sometime back. It's a little charm. Isn't that cute? Another brooch. And some gray pearls. I think I got at Michael's. This, I didn't know if she might actually want to wear it. I think it's gorgeous. It's, um... Home Jewelry Sales. Cannot remember now the name of it. Man, and it is a magnet. Um, like that. I got a chain stuck in there. But, or you can break this off and put it on a cover. But it's really pretty on a chain. So, and then I got some bigger crosses. That I thought she might like. Then this was a bracelet. Um, but it's just, she can take it apart. It's just lots of little pocketbook charms. Super cute. And these are some little coins I had on a necklace I made. And uh, the coins are fun. So that is the jewelry. I had it all neat. Now I don't. Oh. That's the way I roll, people. It's the way I roll. This little book, I've taken the covers off. But it says, Dear Jane. I know she's Janet K, but J-A-N is part of her name. Um, wise counsel from Jane Austen and friends. So these are cute sayings. Dear Jane, should I really buy multiples when I find a product I like? What strange creatures brothers are. Just little cute fun things that you can make journal cards out of or, or anything like that I thought she would like. A set of number rubber stamps. I love that font. So she has that. These are magnet things for the pages. Grace, Believe, and Hope. So those are pretty. And no, there's no pink. However, I'm giving her one of my special Hildy and Joe dolls. She's got a pink dress. I just love her. And she's holding her, walking her poodle, but her her leash is too short, so he's she's kind of carrying him in the air. Mm. Isn't she adorable? So that's for her. Then we have some vintagey things. These are super super old. Um, she needs to back these with some type of um, something, and it could be the front of a card. And I like that it looks old and yucky. But you can use it in journals. Here's another piece. Or for collaging. Love this one. The little child and his doll or her doll. Happy. Many happy returns. Another. So anyway, that's some of those. And some vintage um, cards. This is especially cute. This comes out of the card. And it has... A message somebody wrote to someone I love you Roy for joy a lifetime through isn't that sweet and it goes down in there I just now realized it did that 50th wedding anniversary from somebody to somebody so that's those I've got a few vintage bingo cards they're good thick um, chipboard this is world junior songs got some Christian songs in here that I love. This is uh, an old um, bingo thing from the State Fair. 
and you you know slide the windows I don't right here I just thought this would be a cute journal cover and I got several of them but I thought I'd share one with her I don't know if she would want to do that with it or not but I think it's cool this is an old map of Beaufort or Beaufort South Carolina with some vintage photos in here look at the old cars so I love that this is vintage Motown hits of gold and 1987 is the copyright date and these are not Christian songs but you know, you'll recognize the copyright of this particular song was 1971, If You Really Love Me. Take a look around. Touch Me in the Morning. To me, I'd say, don't touch me in the morning. The Night. And don't touch me at night. Love Hangover. Got to give it up. No, I don't. Um, anyway, fun stuff for her to use in journals and it's a good size so she can sorry flow you got to move over um then i got the signature tiny cards that i've given some people because i love them and then i have cabinet cards for her um i don't know why i felt like she may not have a lot of vintage things so these are some really fun cabinet cards. Some have the pretty back so Janet Kay you can scan these and use them as digitals because they are from the 1800s. Um, and I'm not going to show them all but flipping through quickly. I think that one's funny. I like the grungy ones. And look at this guy's sideburn will you? Oh, come on. You know, when your camera doesn't want to act right. Anyway, sorry. There's that. Then I have the larger ones. This is like, these were high school from 1902. They're senior portraits. And these must have all come from one photographer from the collector I got the estate sale because they're all the same school and from 1902 and handsome little young men so that's them she looks like she would be a Sunday school teacher to me or a school teacher she's got lots of jewelry on so and I love grandma I've got these in my Etsy shop, again, for people. They're, they're very, very, very reasonably priced, I think. These are pristine condition. Um, there are a few that are faded, but most of them are just magnificent. I have the tangible ones for sale. I've taken some offline because I'm paying fees and no one's buying them. I've only sold maybe three sets. Um, but I have them as digitals for $2.99, and you can print them. And I include one or two backs um, and then I've got a set of just backs and I may have taken those off but they really do print out and you do you can glue it on to cards uh, chipboard like this and you'll think it's the real deal look at his baby she's fading that one's a little faded but anyway, and then these are photos, and I love the, um, I'll get back over there, South Carolina. That's a family, and I like the, the cover. A couple boys, and I said I wasn't going to show everything, and I'm sitting here showing you everything. I got carried away. Is he not just absolutely adorable? He's dreamy. That hat on, I just think he is so handsome. I bet he's got muscles, too. I like him. Hmm. This is um, cool. It's got the little bow still on it. And the cover paper. And they've touched it up with some paint. He's got some pink cheeks. 
and he's got a gold pot walket. <laughs> I was saying walket potch. <laughs> Watch in his pocket. Pocket watch. And there's something on his lapel. A walk it pot. Y'all heard of those. So there's that. Then um, just a few pink polka dot pockets. Some Rolodex cards. These are some pretty envelopes. They're iridescent or pearlescent. Sturdy. I love my mother's favorite bird was a hummingbird. So these are like a coaster, but I think they'd be pretty in a journal as a tuck spot. One of my pockets that I made, I didn't ink it or anything, and it's not been glued down. So you'll have to glue this, Janet K, just right there. And um, you can touch that up, but you can have a tuck spot here, put stuff in here, and if you just glue the sides, you could have a tuck there. So that's that. Um, some envelopes that I got in Happy Mail that have not been glued. And here are a bag of bags, envelopes, and pockets. And there's some pink hearts, black bags, and then some of these. I have a lot of these. I was going to put in my Etsy shop, and I have not, but they were some of those. So all that can go in together. Then we have the work basket. This is um, volume four from 1953. Again, this was a hard one to let go of, but I'm sharing. So, from 1953, love the advertisements and all the fun things um, in it. Oops. Lots of advertisements, so those are fun. Um, three of these, I can't believe women actually had to do this stuff and act this way. And if you read it, it'll almost make you mad. But, <laughs> um... This is like from 1952, and it's telling you um, how you're supposed to look for your husband and how you take care of your hair, um, popular hairstyles, then you've got poison personality. You've got to be a good listener to let him talk. It, it, I'm just telling you. you <laughs> It's uh, comical. Then here's some exercises on, for your legs and how to beautify them. And so you got that. Another hairdo. If you have a wide forehead, you want to make your forehead not look so wide. Um, more leg exercises. Your health. Back aches, diseases which affect the back. Posture. How to wear hats. Look at Muscle Man Jim there. Hats and care of the hair. They really want you to take care of your hair and your body. You got all kinds of exercises. Maybe that was just this one. Teenage success. More beauty legs. Care of the nails. Your speech. It says you will certainly sound illiterate if you are addicted to another pronunciation flaw. That of adding sounds which do not belong. You've heard people who say, Collium for column. Well, I never have, but apparently they have. Use for you. And similar strange words for perfectly simple ones. Below are ten of the most mispronounced words in the language. Generally mispronounced. That is, not considering local or regional peculiarities. I couldn't even say that word. So, across. I think people put a T on it sometimes. Across. Athletic. Preventive. Grievous. Umbrella. One more frequent error is the utterance of song sounds in the wrong order. The word iron is not iron. Iron. Hundred is not to be pronounced hundred. <laughs> and cavalry is not calvary. Cavalry is the the men in blue coming to rescue you with the white flag flying. Calvary is where Jesus was crucified, so you need to know the difference in that. It's just funny. How to use perfume, in case y'all don't know. Etiquette, your speech. And it's talking about that again. So I just, these, these are funny, but they would be cute in journals. The Charming Woman. This one is skincare, diet. 
skin care exercise oh i apparently inked on that no i didn't i don't know what that is looks like it was burned how to apply eye cream here's where you could order the charming woman i don't think you care to do that more exercises and care of the hair Look here. The queens of Egypt cared for their hair with secret formulas. They were so secret that they didn't even know what it was. Folklore about hair. Equipment. For your polish. For your nails. They'd be mortified by my nails. More exercises. I mean, you do all this stuff, ladies, and you're going to stay busier than a one-armed paper hanger. I wish I could find what I was talking about, how you, when your husband comes home, well, that's just a picture. I'll just leave it. Um, you have should have everything ready. Here's all the calories of stuff, so you can count those. Poise and personality. What is this? I got stuff stuck everywhere. This may be your last chance. Um... Anyway, I can't find what I was talking about. But there are actually some good tips in there as well. Then, this cute quilted stocking that I got at the thrift store. And this looks like a placemat. Too fancy for me, but I thought you saw this in my Thrifty Thursday and this too. would be a gorgeous um, journal cover. So, I wasn't going to show y'all everything and I did it anyway. So I hope you guys have a blessed night. Please check out the link below. I'm going to link Janet K's YouTube channel. Please show her some crafty love and let her know that I sent you. And I hope she's going to be surprised. And um, I'm going to try to get all this stuff in the mail uh, by Monday morning. I've got somewhere to be all day tomorrow. So I won't be able to get it in the mail tomorrow. But... All this will be going to Janet K. I will link her channel, Crafts and Tea with Janet K, below. Please check her out and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. Just subscribe and help her grow her channel. And you could also subscribe to me. I'm trying to grow mine. I've been trying to get to 2,000 for two years. So, um, show a sister some love, why don't you? Let's hit the subscribe button, the bell, and do it where it says all the little black bell with the little lines so that you're notified of all my videos because I will be doing some craft alongs or um, I think I'm going to call them laugh and maybe craft yeah that's what they'll be because I'm not sure how much crafting I'll get done so I love you guys God loves you and I hope you have a wonderful blessed weekend and I'll see you in the next video bye bye